Okay, what's up, E World? This is going to be a quick one, I promise you. Uh, I just, this is just a update on those XT60s. I said I was going to remove them, and that's what I did. And I would advise you guys that's running high power, uh, running big controllers and all that stuff, man, remove them damn connectors. You don't need any bottlenecks, man. If you got connectors in between your battery system and your controller, remove them. I don't care what size they are. Get them out of the way. Uh, and that's what I did. Um, as you can see, oh, and I rewrapped my battery pack. <laughs> Looks a little better for right now. It's still just temporary until uh, I'm waiting on a tank cover from Huck. I'm going to use one of Huck Cycles tank covers to uh, put on top of my 52 volts. These, these are 252 volts and I got uh, four 18 volts in parallel under there in series. It's one complete system in series with the 52 volts that actually give me 70 volts nominal i say it's 72 but it's 70 volts nominal i'm one cell short of uh you know normal 72 volt system but uh that's that's the configuration i went with and uh total i have 50 amp hours at 70 volts okay yada 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 now i had uh xt60s Connecting my battery system to my controller that's under the seat. Okay, I have these. I still have two XT60s here. One to the 52 volt system. The other to my 18 volt system. And they are strictly just to charge my batteries. No connection as far as power at all. So, uh, yeah, not doing that anymore. Uh, I want you know, fr unbottled necked, <laughs> completely free con uh, current flow from my battery system to my controller. You know, it don't make sense having uh, those big gauge power wires and everything if you got a little skinny uh, connector in between them yeah that's defeating the purpose so as you can see and this is going to be a lot better as far as current flow uh, I ran these uh, 8 gauge power wires from my battery system to my controller it's just going straight there no obstructions at all and I don't remove my battery so I don't need I don't need connectors don't need to have to remove them. Like I said, all, all I'm using these XT60 for is just to charge the batteries. That's it. Uh, I'm not going to leave those like that. I just wanted them exposed right now so you could see the uh, gauge power wires I'm using. I have some convoluted tubing I'm going to put on that. And uh, it's going to be all good. No doubt about it. So... That's pretty much it. There'll be no more chicken frying because, uh, you know, I could hear snap, crackling, and popping going through those XT60s because one of them was, uh, one of them was frying, man. It was melting. So, uh, matter of fact, I still got it on there. That's it, right? You can see it's all burnt up. <laughs> I don't have, I didn't have any more. I'll replace that. But, uh, just to charge the battery, it's all right. It ain't going, you know, it's still making connection. I ain't worrying about that. Uh, my current flow is going through those eight gauges right there. And, psh, man, I'm going to have the juice to get loose. So, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at with that. And uh, there's my super capacitor. Um as soon as I get some new tires, I'm getting some Shinkos, then I can take off my speed limiter, you know. Like I said, I run this bike normally with the speed limited around 40 miles per hour because I still have the uh, factory 
the the original tires that came on there, man. I'm I'm not going to be running 55 miles an hour if I can get to 55 with those tires, man, and and take a chance and them things exploding on me. So uh, when people say you got to make mods when you when you uh make your bike faster, that those are the only mods that I feel you need to do to upgrade. I mean, look at this frame, man. And plus, I got a hard tail. Look how thick that frame is, man. I, I could put a gas engine on this bike and don't have to. I ain't, ain't nothing going to happen to this frame at all. This is a solid frame. And I tell you one thing, I, I guarantee you this frame is more durable than them Onyx frames. They look like toothpicks, man. I hate to say it, but it, it, you look at those Onyx frames, it's nothing to them. Our Onyx is just basically a big motor and batteries. <laughs> That's it. But they 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 use good stuff. They got nice controllers. They got a nice battery system. Uh, and they do what they do. They're lightweight. So uh, they uh, power to uh, weight ratio is what it should be, and that's why they do what they do. My bike is pretty heavy. I haven't weighed it, but uh. I know this thing is heavy, especially with them 252 volts uh, right there and uh, them 418s in the back. And uh, yeah, if you haven't watched my video explaining my battery system, uh, look, I wasn't paying no $2,500 for no 50 amp hour light speed battery. Psh, that's a whole nother bike to me. Uh before I was running 72 volts, I had those 252s in parallel, and I was running 52 volts. That was my battery system, and they were 25 amp hour apiece, which in parallel, that makes them 50 amp hour. And rather than, you know, like I say, go out buy a whole brand new 72 volt battery system, a 50 amp hour would cost... <laughs> I think they're like twenty five hundred bucks, almost three grand. The hell with that? Yes, sir. I used the batteries I already had, and those four eighteen volt battery packs that I'm using back there originally, they were two thirty six volt battery packs that I got from Jerry Huga, the guy that sells the used scooter and e bike batteries on YouTube. I got them for 35 bucks a piece. Like I said, they were 236 volts, 12.5 amp hours. I cut them in half electrically, made two 18 volt batteries out of each one. So in total, that gave me that gave me four 18 volt battery packs, 12.5 amp hour, all in parallel, gives me. 18 volts, 50 amp hour. In series with 52 volts gives me a total of 70 volts. Total, 50 amp hour. That's my battery system. It cost me 70 bucks to go from 52 volts to 72 volts. Doesn't get any cheaper than that, uh, people. So, say what you want to say. That's, what, that's how I'm going to run it. And, uh... Is working for me. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. That's it. Y'all have a good day. Deuces. I'm out.